Right now, we are witnessing a wave of consolidation in the healthcare space. You know all about the big pharma players that are acquiring smaller biotech firms to bulk up with their pipelines. But we're also seeing something similar in the medical device space, particularly when it comes to surgical robots. Late last year, Medtronic snapped up Mazor Robotics. Then a few weeks ago, J&J &J bought Aura's Health. Clearly, these companies think there's a real value in this industry. And the king of the robotic-assisted surgery space is Intuitive Surgical, a stock that you know I have praised since we basically started the show, ISRG, for all you home games. Their Da Vinci surgical system helps doctors perform all sorts of minimally invasive surgical procedures much more reliably than if they're doing it by themselves. And I got to tell you, this business is on fire. When ISRG reported its most recent uh, results at the end of January, the quarter had a little hair on it, minor earnings miss, even as everything else was very strong, and the stock sold off. But upon further review, the whole miss was driven by a $25 million charitable donation. Meanwhile, the business is doing great. They sold 290 machines, up 34% year over year. Nice growth. And even better, more than 70% of their revenues are now recurring because they sell consumables that get used up every time a doctor performs a procedure on their hardware. That's huge. No wonder the stock quickly turned around. Plus, they recently got FDA approval for a new uh, product, the Ion Endoluminal System. I knew it was a tongue, tra tongue twister for me. For conducting minimally invasive lung biopsies, we're going to call it the Ion. So could the stock have more upside? Let's check in with Gary Gunnard. He's the president and CEO of Intuitive Surgical. Do you have a better sense of where his company is headed? Gary, welcome to Mad Money. Great to see you, sir. Have a seat. Thanks so much for Absolutely. having us up. I've got to tell you, I've wanted you, your company on on, well, basically since we started the show, because uh, I know the product. I think it's just fabulous. But it's now more than a product. It's a big ecosystem. And I just wish you'd tell people how huge it is and can be. Great. Well, thanks so much. And thank you for having us out. I know sure. we've been trying to get this on the yeah, books for a while. Yeah, I'm so glad it worked out. Uh, you know, the way we look at it, uh, we're in the business of helping our customers, which are hospitals and surgeons, deliver for their customers, the patients, the quadruple aim. Better outcomes, uh, better patient experience, better experience for the healthcare team and lower total cost to treat. So what does that look like? Last year in 2018, uh, surgeons used our products a million times. Our total experience uh, to date is uh, 6 million procedures. And, and in 2018, we grew, or surgeons uh, using our products grew their procedures 18% for the year. As you said, we're getting ready to launch the endoluminal product, ION. Right. And, uh, and a couple of other products, SP, so it's an exciting time talk for about, us. Talk about the single port, talk about the IM, because these are things that people may not be familiar that you have that are really in your arsenal now. Wonderful. Um, you know, the way we think about it, you talk about great outcomes, and one of them is how do you get into and out of the body with less damage to healthy tissue? We know that lung cancer is a major disease state, and the early diagnosis of lung cancer is likely to create um, better outcomes, better long-term outcomes for people if you can find it sooner. Uh, this product goes uh, transorally into the lungs. It uses computer systems to help navigate to where a well, suspicious- it Transorally, what does that mean? So uh, the, uh, this uh, flexible catheter goes through the mouth. So instead of making any cuts, there are no cuts, it goes into the body and navigates the lungs with uh, computer-aided control. And the idea is to pull definitive diagnosis forward in time. So somebody who has a suspicious lesion gets a definitive diagnosis earlier. That's the goal. We just had it's a, incredible. A five, it's, it's a fantastic. When I was in ninth grade, there this book came out called Fantastic Voyage. It was made. To, that's Fantastic Voyage. There's a lot like it. Yeah. Well, that, that's that's remarkable. Now, talk about reliability because I think that when I did a fundraiser for my local hospital, the thing that really stuck out for me when we got a Da Vinci machine was that you should go to our hospital because our hospital is now more reliable than the ones that don't have it. Yeah, so you know what are what are hospitals seeking to deliver for their for their patient community? They want to have um, the best outcomes, but they also need predictable outcomes, and they need technologies and ecosystems. Not just the technology, not just the product, but everything that goes around it: analytics, training, um, uh, proctoring, other things that help get a great result. And so you want that great result to be predictable, not just possible but predictable. So the products have to be reliable and the process has to be reliable. Now, J&J &J and Medtronic are two great companies, as we know, and they want in. They see that there's great profits to be had, but they're also fabulous companies at being reliable. We all respect them. Can they um, come in directly against Intuitive or are they in different parts of, uh, uh, of the body? Um, we'll see over time. Clearly, mm. there are some companies that have entered the space in orthopedics, um, hips and knees. Uh, and spine, and, and Intuitive is not currently in that space. Okay. So in some places, they're bringing robotic surgery to uh, other parts of the body. Uh, there's clearly an interest to come and do the kinds of things we do as well. Um, honestly, we see that as validation. Uh, we've been at it for a long time. I started this in, uh, 
in this space. I didn't start the company in 1993. Uh, so it's to us inevitable. And I'll, I think the way we think about it is the following. There's an assessment. What can be improved? And customers will share with you that. They're very open. Then there's design, development, and deployment. Those are hard to do. The magic is doing all of that well. And I think they have smart people. They're going to have to do it. Sure. But I think we're quite well positioned. When we talked about the, the goal, it's not a mystery. We got better outcomes. But the recurring revenue model, I always, people always want to say raise the raise the blade. I always say intuitive surgical to intuitive surgical consumables because it, look, these are not Elliott Mosner institutions. You make money, but you make money in a very, I think, terrific way because the more you use, obviously, you should be paid for that. And that, and that happens. Yeah, so we look at um, creating value with our customer. And, and so how does that happen? Well, if you get better outcomes and you're more predictable, then you can lower the total cost to treat per patient episode. And that's the most important thing. Um, these products are sensitive and sophisticated. And so we want the performance of our instruments, the things that snap onto the robot, to be highly reliable throughout their useful life. And so they're used multiple times. They're clean within the hospital. But over time, they wear out. When they wear out, we help replace them. Now, how about China? I know that they have a quota system there, which seems surprising to me. Why wouldn't you have as many ISRG machines as possible? But you're, you're, China has huge hospitals. I, I, to me, you, your new device uh, the, for lung cancer, they have a million people die of respiratory illnesses there. So this is a natural fit with China. Right. Uh, over time, we're very interested in helping the Chinese healthcare market, both in our Da Vinci space right now as right. well as the ION space. We have a good uh, partner in China, uh, in Fosun Pharma. We've created a joint venture with them. Uh, right now, we are supply constrained because of the way the supply quota system constrained. works. So oh, uh, yeah. not from a point of view of production, we can produce systems, but in terms of how many we can deliver. Uh, that's, we've just gotten a new quota. We just got an XI, uh, approval for our latest generation product, the XI. Uh, we have a good team in China, so we, we're getting excited about it. You are absolutely right. Lung cancer is a serious issue in China. They have a large unmet need. And we expect to see ION over time uh, make a difference in that market. Do you follow the, the trade talks, or is this just something totally separate by the healthcare system, which really wants to save as many lives as they can? Well, we, we are impacted by the environment as it is. So on the one hand, um, for, for sure, uh, we would like to see easier uh, business opportunities and relationships. But we deal with the world as it is, not as we'd like it to be. Look We're like. quite pragmatic about it. And... Um, Right now, we, we uh, feel like we're making progress. All right. Well, you've, done, you've made more than progress for your shareholders and for the system and, of course, the most importantly, the customers, which is the patient. Okay, that is Gary Gutter. He's CEO of Intuitive Surgical, ISRG. You know I've liked this stock for years, and it's one of the stocks I always say in every sell-off, you should be buying the stock of ISRG. Man, money's back here. Too. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.